Hello, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of the Adobe Experience Manager authoring console. So you go ahead and log in there, and that's admin, and immediately you're taken to this screen here. You have two options here. You have a toggle. This is na navigation panel, and then you have the tools area where you have all the tools and all the different consoles here. Very quickly, the authoring experience mostly happens around the navigation console. In the navigation console, as you can see, you have your project, you have all the projects there, you have all the sites, all the websites that your organization is publishing. Then you have um, the experience fragments. This represents all the reusable f content. So basically, if you have content that is supposed to be used, published once, but used in different locations, you can have it published under the experience fragments. Sometimes you commonly refer to that um, uh, as a variation of that is content fragment. And then you have all the assets. And here this is where you have all your images, all your videos, all your PDF files. And sometimes you can have videos coming from an external source just because you don't want to overuse your memory. But then you have all your images and your files there. And if you have a few videos, you don't publish a lot of multimedia content in your organization, that you can have your videos in there too. Of course, you have forms. If you're authoring forms, you, you have all your form templates in there and you can create forms. You have personalization here. And personalization is just basically publishing content that is tailored to a certain type of people, a certain region, a certain community. And that works hand in hand with communities a lot. This is where you have groups and forums. Groups and forums where you have moderators and you have members, you have membership packs and things like that. They can be secured and non-secured depending on the type of membership that you're maintaining. And of course you have the catalog here. And the catalog is basically the product profiles. If you're publishing products, you're trying to, 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 to have your AEM connected to your um, shop your e-commerce uh, section of the website then you have all your products there and you get to list them you have different uh, specifications for those products there and very quickly i'll mention that as an author you might be required to do a few things that are above regular authoring and this is where you find the tools if you toggle there from the navigation to the tools section you have a lot of consoles there for different works, mostly for developers and for um, Adobe Experience Manager administrators. But, and of course, implementation and deployment and things like that. But a few things that are very important here is, as a super author, you might be required to author templates. This is where you author your templates from. Uh, you might be able to create a few tags whether for products or content, uh, different sections. That's where you add your tags. Uh, developers are going to work within the CRX Delight area because that's where you have all the files, all the code, and the applications folder, all the foundation components, and all other stuff in there. Now you have workflow for authors that are supposed to um, approve workflows, and of course you have the models and the different. Uh, if you're controlling launches for different specific uh, content that is supposed to publish it to be published at a certain type, certain time. Then you have there, you have operations where you can check um, maintenance of the site, you can test, um, you can do a system overview, you can look at health reports of your site. Uh, these are blueprints, basically uh, blueprints are going to be the things that control your globalization. If you're building sites, you have this main site and eventually you can make sites out of it. So think about multi-site manager there um, that's where you find that you have metadata schemes and this basically meta uh, profiles and then you, of course you have this this is very important because as an author you might need a few um, documentations if you're trying to find information for something then the documentation and the developer resources is a very good tool basically this takes you to adobe experience uh, to adobe's uh, website for uh, tutorials and training and you can find additional information there. Deployment, basically, as an author, you might find yourself in a situation where you have to update packages. 
packages are basically modules. They're basically um, parts of functionality uh, that you're adding. You know, a component is built out of a package, you know, and contains all the code that brings it to life, that makes it function. And so that is where you're going to upload your packages from. So that is the package manager. But also you have package share where, you know, if you need to download dependencies, you need to download an update from Adobe, a patch, a hotfix, whatever it is, then you get to log in uh, and a package share and the organization's uh, profile. And there you can access all the um, packages that are basically being shared among the Adobe Experience Manager community. Have security as an author, a super author, you might be required to create users. Uh, these users can be created here. You might be able to allocate them groups and by allocating them groups, then they get the permissions of the group. And uh, basically then they can do the functions that you want them to do. If they want them to download, delete, publish, you know, and publish content, you get them the rights there under the groups, whether it's admin or author or whatever type of profile you want to give them. Um, you can add a new member of your team there. And of course, commerce there, you have the payment methods, the shipping methods, and this connects to your catalog under the authoring console. And that's where you make everything happen. A few things like connecting to social media and connecting to Adobe services and other cloud resources, that's where you find it. And of course, communities, you have your community templates there, your community badges, you know, other type of, um, other type of profiles and, you know, that you set up for your community members and that's where you have all your forms if you're trying to create a new template for a form then that's um, the console that you deal work with anyway just to recover very quickly this is where most of the authoring happens these three here the sites the experience fragments assets and probably the forms this is where most of the authoring is gonna happen because most organizations will probably just need you to publish pages on the site, to add content that can be reused, and probably to upload images and be able to share those images. Um, forms, you might be uh, allowed to publish forms for webinars and things like that. That's where you create your forms. And of course, communities where you maintain all the um, community uh, sites. These are forums and groups where people have privileges uh, and you have to look at those privileges and some of them are secure, some of them are non-secure. And finally, of course, if you're adding products, there uh, is going to be where you work from. Uh, in my next video, I'll dive deep into the sites and show you exactly how to author a page, how to do uh, metadata for that page and how to update all the content on that page and how to use all the content and components, basically. Thank you.